welcome people and in this particular video and in this particular series in fact uh, we are taking one step further with this video and we are going to cover h2 database with spring security okay so we are going to understand how you can make use of h2 database with spring security uh, it's not that straightforward of course you can add h2 database but uh, how would you access h2 console and all so all of that we are going to see what all issues we face normally when you are trying to make use of this amazing in-memory database okay so if you're new to this channel and if you have not watched my previous video or any of my videos so i would like to tell you that this video is a part of a complete spring security series that i'm doing here and the link for the series or the playlist you will find in the description below okay and uh, be sure to check out earlier videos if you want to get some context otherwise it's completely fine you can watch this video as well okay uh, but yeah this series is all about spring security where we cover spring security right from basics okay like how can you add spring security into your project literally that we are covering and then we go up to the advanced stuff okay which is like jwt authentication database authentication all of that okay so yeah that's about this video that's about the playlist in fact and about this video we are going to work with h2 database like i mentioned okay so we'll be configuring h2 database and this is a step towards a gdbc authentication or database backed authentication okay so right now the authentication is in memory which is pretty much in memory you know uh, so we need our user details to persist into the database right so we need to do that and uh, yeah it's a step forward so if you like the video i would highly encourage you all to hit that like button right now okay and show some support uh, to this particular series that i'm doing and also hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon that's really important to stay connected and also to uh, get the updates to you all okay because i'm posting a lot of content now i'm working on a lot of content that's coming in and if you wish to stay updated you should subscribe and even turn on the bell notification icon so yeah that's about uh, uh, this also be sure to comment and introduce yourself as to what you're doing where you're from and uh, also if you have any video requests or any sort of course you want to see on this channel you should post that over there all right so without a further ado let's jump right in and let's start working with h2 database and let's see what happens if you add it uh, with a project that is configured to work with spring security so far we have an in-memory authentication in place where we are authenticating users with the help of the user information that is being managed in memory all right now we need to configure h2 database so that we can move this information that we are managing in memory as of now to a database right so we'll begin the configuration for h2 database and for that we'll head over to our favorite website which is spring initializer i'll make sure i select maven here i'll head over to dependencies and i'll select a couple of dependencies over here which is h2 and jpa okay and i'll go to explore and uh, we'll scroll down over here and we'll copy these two dependencies that we need okay so these are the two dependencies that we will add to our project which is pom.xml all right we'll keep rest of the things as it is and we'll hit maven refresh okay so what is happening over here is we got the dependencies now what we need to do is we need to enable the console over here right and to enable console we'll add just a couple of properties over here okay so i'll say spring dot i'll say h2 dot console dot enabled is equal to i'll say true over here and i'll also add the data source so i'll say spring data source dot url over here is equal to gdbc colon h2 colon mem colon test okay and I'll brief run the application, okay? Now let us see what the behavior is when you try to access H2 console, okay? So if you come over here, if you head over to this URL, localhost colon 8080 H2 console, 
you will be presented with a login alert okay of course because we have basic authentication enabled for all the endpoints and h2 console is a part of our application so i can say user one and i can enter let's say password one over here i'll be taken to this page here i'll say connect i'm being presented with this again okay so i'll say user one and password one so this h2 console page okay again this pop-up comes so this h2 console page is already authenticated right h2 has its own authentication form from where it is authenticating the users so what we can do is if we want to disable uh, the login on that particular page the spring security login you have an option to do that okay and for that we can switch over here okay and we'll head over to our config here i'll scroll up and here we are saying request dot any request right so what i would do is i would take this any request to the next line and i would also add one more line over here dot i'll say request matches okay so i'll try to match the request with a pattern in the url okay so you can see string patterns is what you can pass in so i'll say slash h2 hyphen console over here and then i'll have two stars over here okay and if it matches this i'll say permit all okay so if the request that i'm getting if it's matching this url pattern then i'm permitting without spring security authentication and apart from this any request i'm marking it as authenticated so i'll rerun this let us see what the things look like okay and uh, if you come over here let me go to h2 console now okay so you can see we were not asked for any sort of authentication now and if i say connect now okay we are being asked for this authentication still okay and uh, let me see what is the reason over here okay so we are saying request matcher and dot permit all okay which is absolutely fine okay so i just restarted the application and uh, i tried testing it and it seemed to be working now so if i connect you see that i'm not getting that alert pop up okay but i'm getting something else so you're seeing over here local host refused to connect okay but if you're getting the alert pop up again and again despite disabling this from request matches over here okay then restart your application and even like close the browser and start it again in incognito mode so there, there is a possibility that some session information must be stored in the cache or something and that is the reason why it's showing you authentication pop-ups again and again okay but yeah since that is gone now you can see over here we have a new issue okay here nothing is loading so if you right click and if you say inspect over here okay you'll see that everything is a frame over here you can see this is a frame this is a frame this is a frame right everything is frame and by default these frames are disabled okay so you need to enable this for this to work okay and how can you enable this there is a configuration for that as well okay so you can come over here i can say http dot headers and i can say headers i'll have lambda over here headers dot i'll say frame options okay and uh, let me take this to new line frame options and uh, i can say frame options and uh, i'll say over here frame options dot same origin something like this so this is a line of code that you need to add all right what we are doing is for http headers we are saying headers and within headers for frame options we are allowing the frame options from the same origin so once you use this okay there is also a suggestion over here if you over on this you can replace lambda with a method reference this is also doable okay and uh, if you refresh this okay you can restart the application and now if you refresh let me refresh okay so i'll come over here again and i'll say connect okay it's asking me for the pop-up again okay so this is because probably we have the csrf enabled and we have not disabled it okay so what i would do over here is right now i will come over here okay and i'll have http dot csrf and i'll say csrf and 
like this csrf dot disabled okay so this is disabled and i can run this again let us see what the output looks like this is working and let me like hit refresh connect and you can see this works now okay so there's no issue as such okay you can like log out from here disconnect test connection and all the endpoints or all the urls will work starting from h2 console okay so what we have done over here is okay first of all we have like allowed all the requests coming in to h2 console we have allowed them bypass the security okay we have also enabled the frames over here from the same origin okay so we have allowed the frames for h2 console and then we disabled the csrf to get it to work okay all right so with these settings we have the h2 console enabled you can hover on this and you can replace lambda with a method reference okay and i can run this again okay so if you come over here and if you refresh and if you say test connection connect you can see that it's working absolutely fine okay so what we can do is we can get this information now into h2 database and we don't need to make use of in memory user details manager all right so i hope uh, this was useful